Bhagavad Gita, verse 2.4 Arjuna said, O Madhusudana, slayer of the enemy, how can a fight with arrows in battle against Grandfather Bhishma and Drona Acharya, who are my worshipful superiors? Sar Ardavarshini, in answering the question as to why he is not fighting, Arjuna claims that according to the scriptures that deal with morality, it brings inauspiciousness to violate the honor of a worshipable personality. Therefore, I shall not fight. To support his action, he speaks this verse beginning with Katam. Krishna may say, Bhishma, Drona and others are fighting against you. So can you not fight back? Arjuna may answer, What you say is true. However, I cannot fight against them because I consider them to be worshipful. It is therefore right that I don't fight them. Is it proper for me to angrily pierce with sharp arrows those persons at whose feet I desire to lovingly offer flowers? No, it is not proper. By addressing Sri Krishna as Madhusudana, Arjuna is giving moral instruction to Sri Krishna. O oh dear friend, you have also killed enemies in battle, but you have not killed your guru, Sadipadimuni, nor your relatives, the Yadus. If you say that Madhusudana, the killer of Madhu, means that Madhus, enemies, are Yadhus, your relatives, then no, this is not so. Madhu was your enemy, Ari. Therefore, I have addressed you as Ari Sudana, the killer of enemies. That is, the demon named Madhu was your enemy. I am saying this only. Tsar Ardhavarshini Prakashika Riti Saripadi Muni was a famous sage belonging to the dynasty of the great sage Kashyapa. He lived in the city of Avanti, the present-day Ujjain. While the spiritual masters of the whole universe, Sri Krishna and Baladeva, were enacting their human-like pastimes in order to set an example for others, they accepted Sadipadi Muni as their instructing spiritual master, Shiksha Guru. While living in his ashram, they performed the pastime of learning the 64 arts in 64 days. In his Sar Ardhadarshini commentary on Srimad Bhagavatam, Srila Vishwanath Chagavarti Thakur has indicated that Sadipadi Muni was a Shaivat a follower of Lord Shiva. Why then did Krishna and Baladeva accept him as their guru? In answer to this, Srila Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur writes that if they had accepted a Vaishnava guru, he would have immediately recognized Sri Krishna as the original Supreme Personality of Godhead, and Krishna's pastime of learning would not have taken place. Therefore, these two brothers intentionally went to the devotee of Lord Shiva, Sadipadi Muni, son of the renowned Yogamaya Purnamasi of Raja. Madhumangala and Nadi Mukhi, the famous friends of Krishna, are the son and daughter of Sadipani Muni.